from the 114th Squadron from the Royal Air Force, 39 men, 13 aircrafts, sits in Lossiemouth, Scotland, and awaits the order to join the important mission, codename Operation Archery. The mission raid the strategic important German airbase Fortras Hardla, located southwest in Norway. It was a very important strategic airbase for the Germans during the first year of the occupation of Norway. Operation Archery was the first Allied uh, commando raid executed in Norway and it was planned, led and executed by the British military unit uh, Special Operations Executive, also called the SOE. At Operation Archery, 576 military personnel took part. Out of the 576, 33 of them was Norwegian. They were part of a company called Linge Company. It was also called as established uh, in uh, the Norwegian government, the Norwegian Independent Company Number One. The time was there, 27th of December 1941. The 114 Squadron led their aircraft to the airstrip in Scotland. Time. 0925. The first takeoff executed. 0930. The second takeoff complete. Destination Norway. Their mission destroy and create as much chaos for the German forces as possible and prevent them taking off and help the German forces at Molle. The 13 aircraft flew around 20 feet above the North Sea towards Norway and when they approached Ögaan they kept the aircraft as low as possible to prevent detection as they approached their mission target on the other side of the fjord. The execution time was set to 12.30 pm and as they approached the target they pretended to go in for landing and the reason why was that the aircraft they flew was very similar to the German Junker 88 aircraft. At 100 meters altitude, the 114th Squadron engaged with full power and opened their hatches and released their fire bombs and 250 pound bombs. They managed to destroy three Messerschmitts as well as the buildings and other important infrastructure. According to observations, there was two German BF-103 aircraft and three BF-109S in the air during the attack without engaging the 114th Squadron. As the motto of the 114 Squadron written on their patch, with speed as strike, they pulled back as quickly as they came in and started their return towards home base. The route was the same way they came in and they flew low over the fjord to escape anti-aircraft flags from Hardla Fortress as they approached Egan. The mission was successful as all the 13 aircraft was in formation returning back to Scotland. But as they approached Egan and started the low flight at the start of land, tragedy happened. The aircraft RTH Z7500 lost control and it hit the aircraft RTZ V6227. This was around 76 meters above ground according to the log information. Their course changed from the others as there was a few houses nearby and the sound of a big crash suddenly followed by silence as the 11 aircraft disappeared southwest into the horizon. Both of the aircrafts had crashed into a small lake and the only thing you could see was some bubbles and oil. Both of the aircraft was submerged into the lake and six brave men had lost their lives. A few hours later, German soldiers approached with a boat from Hardla and took a smaller boat in the area and carried it to the lake. Their mission was to recon the area and confirm that there was no survivors and left the area shortly after. The two aircrafts most likely came over that ridge over there and crashed into this lake where they stayed until late June 1945. Uh, British, Norwegian uh, officers and war prisoners uh, from Germany uh, came to the lake, winched the aircraft to the side and took the remains in coffin and brought to this stone building before they were transported to uh, Mullendal Church Cemetery in Bergen City. There they were given a ceremonial honorable funeral. 
The names of the brave men who sacrificed their lives from the Royal Air Force 114 Squadron, the 27th of December 1941 at Egan Municipality is Sergeant Kenneth Aubrey Daves, killed in action. Sergeant John James Birchall Ward, killed in action. Sergeant John Edward Kitley, killed in action. And First Sergeant Robert Wilson Fisher from the Royal Australian Air Force, killed in action. Sergeant James Williamson, killed in action. Sergeant William Frederick George Fletcher, killed in action. 39 men left home base in Scotland and 33 returned. The main mission, uh, Operation Archery, was a uh, military scene, uh, a success operation. Uh, they destroyed uh, ammunition, warehouses, industrial buildings, uh, German barracks, uh, killed between 120 and 170 Germans, sunk around 10 boats, and uh, the losses of the Allied forces uh, wasn't too big, uh, every loss is a loss, but I think it was around uh, 22 people killed and 57 people injured during Operation Archery. So uh, military uh, operational, uh, it was a success. But in every war there are casualties and the destiny of this, uh, these six men uh, ended in uh, this lake. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, I uh, would appreciate if you uh, subscribed, uh, maybe liked and shared the video. Uh, sharing is for uh, not letting the history being forgotten. Uh, there are uh, not good things with uh, war, so we should not forget. Yeah, uh, I'm soaking. I'm going home. Hope you liked the video again. Uh, see you next time and uh, stay safe. Bye bye.